Hello there everyone, and let's get straight to it. Um, my One of my purchases was confiscated by eBay. And uh, let's get through this uh, rather odd story. Um, I was looking to improve, or not improve, but upgrade or change a little bit um, my World War One impression by doing a later war one. So I was looking for a original German World War One M16 helmet. I managed to find one from a seller on eBay. I purchased it. Uh, as I was purchasing it, I got this message that uh, there was going to be an additional fee on it. So the helmet cost me about four hundred dollars, and then there was a a toll fee or a, a import fee, as they called it. Uh, that had been calculated by the Gro global shipping program um, that that was going to need it to be paid uh, for it to be shipped to Sweden. I decided, you know, one hundred and twenty dollars extra on a four hundred purchase is kind of a lot, but I decided, you know what, I want this helmet, so uh, maybe I'll have to I'll have to postpone a lot of other different purchases I want and. Um, uh, because it, I had quite a trouble finding a helmet that would fit me. So yeah, okay, I'm purchasing it. And I looked a little bit into the global shipping program and it seems like it's a program uh, where basically what it is, is a, an American seller can, instead of shipping the item directly to whoever bought it, it they sell it to uh, like an eBay center and then the eBay center will calculate, um, or they will sort of figure out import stuff. And it's a lot about like getting your money back or if they will handle a lot of that. So it makes it, it's supposed to make it easier for um, American sellers to sell to abroad uh, without having to worry about all the different rules of imports and stuff to other countries. Anyways, everything's fine. I'm a little bit like, mm, yeah, all right, I'm not going to be able to purchase any other items for a, a while now since I'm paying like uh, $520, I think. Even more because there was also shipping. So I think, well, it was, it was around like $500, $550 or something like that in total. And about um, a week after... The purchase I well let's see if I can find the message here so uh, I got a message then from them important information I'm gonna read right off here so important information regarding the global shipping program transaction the original German World War one m16 helmet uh, restricted item dear John we are writing you to inform that your recent purchase through the global shipping program from <laughs> 1943 this is going to be important later but he's uh, he's I'm not going to say his entire name but it it's <laughs> 1943 is the seller's name as listed on eBay um, cannot be completed so the purchase cannot be completed the item in question has been deemed restricted this could be due to import and shipping restrictions there are no restrictions on purchasing or importing antique steel helmets to Sweden or I guess shipping them out of the US either so there's no such thing so then it would be or el uh, elig eligibility requirements within the global shipping program and that's a bit odd because I know there are restrictions on weight and size and stuff like that but shouldn't that be known or shouldn't that have been put in the system when the item was put up because it's a pretty bit odd that it's then they realize it once it's actually shipped to the location and then they're like oh seems a bit unnecessary that that should have been figured out uh, beforehand because it seems like that would happen a lot if it isn't actually corrected or they look into it before it's actually shipped to them which seems pretty odd um but that's sort of what i i don't know exactly because they didn't tell me why it was restricted they just tell me that it is and then, you know, they give me basically, it could have been the time of day that it arrived or the location of the moon. I was like, okay, but well, it doesn't, that doesn't really tell me anything. You can, you could 
you know, tell me specifically, okay, it's too heavy, it's too big, uh, there are import restrictions on World War I steel helmets to Sweden or the EU or something like that, but nothing, nothing specific like that. It's like, the water looked off today, so the item was restricted. Good luck. Um, but here, here was the thing that I, because they, they said that um, I'm going to get all my money back. So, the, I, okay, that's good. So, um, but here was the interesting thing. Um, the item will not be shipped to you. Well, I knew that because it was restricted. Nor will it be returned to the seller. So I'm not going to get the item and the seller, they're not going to send it back to him. Which seems odd. Why wouldn't they just send it back? Um, so they are going to keep the item. They're going to confiscate the World War One helmet. Don't worry, you will get a full refund with uh, which will be presses back to the original payment method within 42 hours. You may notice two separate refunds, one refund for the item and one for the shipping, shipping cost slash import cost. No further action is needed. So I was like, okay, so what's the seller selling, saying about this? Because he's not getting the helmet back. But then again, uh, what I what I thought was that they're gonna stop like the, the payment or whatever, but it seems like the, my payment went through, but they still sort of, but they re refunded me. So they're, uh, they're out, they're down $400 or whatever it, uh, the helmet cost. So I thought that was pretty odd. I still wanted the helmet. I don't know why they didn't want to ship it to me. Um, so I asked the seller a little bit about it, what, what kind of he got back from it. And he contacted someone over at eBay and they said that on their side, on his sort of side, he couldn't like go ahead and say, oh, the helmet didn't, was restricted. What happened there? So it was from my point of view. And so I went through eBay and I sent a message. Let's see if I can find it. So I sent them, I, there's a lot of messages me back and forth with the seller. So, okay, so I, I went to eBay and I did a, like an error report or whatever you want to call it. Um, and there wasn't any, because it's all automated and you pick a different sort of, this is the reason or this is the reason. There wasn't one was, there wasn't one where it said the item has been restricted, not sent to you and confiscated by eBay. But do you want to, you know contest that there wasn't any one of that so I picked the closest one which was that the item was never sent to me so I got this back uh, stay tuned the seller's response stay tuned for the seller's response hi John we're sorry to hear that you didn't receive the item you purchased your request is open and we asked the seller to respond um, and resolve your issue by <laughs> If you don't hear back, blah, 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 so and so on. This, this is the interesting part. We're dealing with a lot of big companies and stuff. You never really get fast response, do you? However, this time around, I got one that is, uh, so it took them 14 minutes to respond to this case opening, which I thought was really odd, really fast. Normally it takes quite a while for, big companies like this to respond to. So if within 14 minutes, they responded. And it basically, in kind of big letters, it says, this case is now closed. Hi, John, we're sorry you had a problem with your purchase. However, the item isn't covered by uh, eBay's money back guarantee, which, what? I, I specifically uh, picked, like, checked the box where it was, like, do you want the item or do you want your money back? And I said, I wanted the, the item. I didn't want the money back. I'd already gotten my money back. This was just a way of trying to figure out if I could actually get the helmet. Because um, the seller had, of course, called eBay and they had, they had a guy there that admitted that the restriction was wrong. It shouldn't have been restricted. I should have gotten it. 
So that was odd. And it was kind of close to that point. There was really not much recourse because um, you can only, f I think you can only file a sort of a problem report or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't actually have the name. And the thing is, um, it says it says it in Swedish, so I don't know exactly what it. Uh, it right now I'm looking at like the Swedish stuff, so I don't know exactly how to um, translate it. Anyways, so you can only do it that once. I can't do it twice on the same item. So, and I, the thing is, I got my money back, but it, it's it's a shame that I didn't get a helmet. So, uh, but I still started to kind of trying to figure out what, why this has happened. Has this happened to a lot of the other people? And I was posting a lot on over on Instagram where I do a lot more of, you know, I post pictures of the uniforms and whatever antique weapons or whatever I'm doing. So I'm posting a lot of that because it's a lot easier to post it over on Instagram. You can post a picture and then just, uh, you know, put a little caption compared with posting something on YouTube where I would need I definitely want a better camera and I would want a better you know, microphone so I can actually um, get the sound and stuff like that. So that's why I haven't really done anything. And you know, it's a lot easier just posting a picture. So I haven't done a lot of that. So that, that's why um, you don't see as much of that sort of uniform stuff on YouTube as you do over on my Instagram where it's all that. Um, but I, I, I posted a lot about this and a lot of people were like, what, what, e eBay confiscated your item and stuff like that. So I got a few people that uh, had have similar things and also some directing me to a forum where they were talking about this. And apparently this happens quite a lot, especially to sort of military items that they sort of just deemed restricted because and then we found out that what eBay actually does, because right now they're stuck with a helmet and they're $400 down because they refunded me. What are they going to do? Well, they're eBay, so obviously they're going to try to sell the helmet. And that's exactly what happened. And that was the uh, thing that happened to a lot of other these people, because say that, yeah, you know, you are looking for a helmet on eBay and it gets restricted, it gets removed, okay, you're still looking for a helmet, so you're still gonna look through, maybe once a week, for if there's a new helmets that turn up on eBay. And that's exactly what happened for me, just like many others, is suddenly uh, the exact same picture with the exact same like head title of the item turned up, and not only that, this is the interesting thing. So I said the name of the seller was <laughs> 1943 was sort of the sort of name you would think of when someone um, for someone that sells military stuff, uh, World War One, World War Two stuff on eBay. And so this seller, which is obviously just a front for eBay, um, was called <laughs> something similar, 1944. But it, the difference here is the the old seller. You know, he had like maybe a thousand uh, sold items or something like that. This one had close to a hundred thousand. Uh, what's it called? Reviews or whatever. So it's sold over a hundred thousand items. Uh, for the, that is probably then uh, confiscated items that they've sold back to uh, into the market. It's a hundred thousand. Um, and so I also went on to check like what other items are they reselling back to it. So I took, I thought I'd take a look at their store, but there was nothing there. Though there, there was no other like items being sell, sold, so obviously there are other items being sold by the seller, it's just that eBay hides them. Because you, you do not sell like a hundred thousand items and only have one item to sell right now. That A person that has selling that many items probably sells you know quite a few a day. Um, so that was 
pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. The thing is, they mo the the new item that they well, when the eBay sold it, is trying to sell it now. They've marked it up by forty dollars, so it's four hundred forty dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's not like they're gonna make a huge amount of money out of this. I don't know what their uh, what their uh, the angle is, and I. So I don't, I don't really get it. And also the, another interesting thing. So when they resell it now, it, oh, it, you can only ship it to a location within the US. So I can't actually buy it again, which uh, was actually the plan first. Uh, but the interesting thing was, I got an, a, a, another email from um, eBay because I, I marked this new one from the eBay seller. I marked it uh to my to my watch list and then i got an email from ebay saying oh because you've shown interest in this item the helmet then uh the seller wants to sell it want to send you a private offer mm. and what is that a discount of 22 dollars a few other interested buyer also received this offer it won't last long it's last two weeks at this point uh hurry up and take uh, advantage right away but obviously I can't bloody ship it free shipping as well is part of the offer it, according to this it's valid for 48 hours but seemingly I'm, I'm still able to get it which is a bit odd um, so yeah I don't get it really because it's not like they're getting a huge profit out of this I imagine all the shipping costs still far out and the repayment of all of this far outweighs whatever little money they be able to make out of this so uh, i know over on instagram though a lot of people are going oh that's a bloody scam but i don't see how they they're making any money out of this like if they put it into some kind of you know process when they're making money out of it it seems look like just such an oversight of like some huge bloated company that doesn't really give a shit and they just have this really sort of ingrained problem that you know could have been it could easily be averted by a number of different things to make sure that restricted their restricted items are stopped before they get to the center or whatever uh, so it seems like a lot of a bloody effort or whatever but um yes so anyways the recourse for me right now is actually to purchase the helmet but um ship it to a friend of mine in the us and then he will send it to me um quite the story here Hopefully, uh, everyone else will be... W the thing is also, the seller, uh, because he, I think it happened once more before, before him, but then they hadn't looked into it as much as I did and actually shown him, you know, they relist the item, they, um, you know, this is the reason and all that. He actually pulled all his helmets because he was selling, I think he, sell, he was selling like eight other or a, in total, eight different uh, original German World War One helmets. And he just pulled all of it from eBay. So, I mean, I don't know. It seems to have uh, probably cost them more than... It, it's an odd thing. I mean, I'd love to hear your guys, if you have uh, experienced something similar, or if you can, you know, kind of figure out what, why they're doing this. To me, it seems like a, it's just the inertia or whatever of a big company that you know rather you know just write it off rather than um, trying to actually innovate and find a solution to this stupid problem anyways it's gonna cause me quite a bit of trouble and take a lot of time because I uh, oh, my bloody uh, I've got hay fever so that's why my eyes are red or if that's even if you're able to even see that. Um, enough, this video is almost 20 minutes long. Uh, anyways, for the final thing, if you if you had any similar experience or if you've got anything, please share it with me because I'm still kind of like, 
what the hell is this? Right, um, hopefully this doesn't happen to you, and hopefully I'll see you for whatever next I post. Bye.